Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, you were saying you need to call LeBron? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bro, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was the last thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what were you talking about? I know, right? Yeah. I don't remember. That's <laughs> okay. LeBron. No, we, yeah, that's my cousin, man. We've been like vibing out, like. We've been like rocking out. He's like, dude, he's just like me, bro, for real. But oh uh, yeah, we can put music. We can put music in the beginning. I'm like, bro, because when I when I when I posted the first one, mm-hmm. when I posted the first one, I was like, oh, this got easy. <laughs> That's cool. This kind of easy. So now I can kind of create it and make it how how I want to, bro. Um, I can create it and make it however I want to, as far as uh, you know what we set up the segments and stuff like that. So. Mm. That's cool. Well, and something I was thinking about too on the drive here is I'm like thinking about all these different podcasts because I was like driving over like, what are we, we going to talk about, right? What are we going to talk about today? And I was just like listening to other like little snippets of other people's podcasts and I'm just like, a podcast is just a recorded conversation. Dog. I was thinking about that today. Dog. Like, are was, you really? That's yeah, I was, I was like, yeah. I said, there's never no starting point. No, there's not. It's just a conversation that you still happen to record. And yep. you, you, it seems to me like it, just the common theme amongst all the popular podcasts is it doesn't really matter or not if it's quote unquote good, right? It really just matters if you've done like a couple hundred of them. Yeah, you know? And like, that. it seems to me like a lot of these people that are very successful with their podcasts have just beat other podcasts that just didn't stay consistent. You know, and and yeah, quit exactly, or grit that too, <laughs> and, and and she she got the award for grit. Did you really? No. <laughs> well, no, so, then you get an award for the the. I be- got a good mark. I got a gold star. Oh, you got a gold star for grit. <laughs> well, I mean, there you go. That's basically the same thing. Yeah, that was an award. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it's an award. <clears throat> or the same thing. Oh man, no, you was talking. Um, no, nah, yeah. I'm not even related. No. Oh, no, it's about the podcast. You're talking about the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like so, how, um, so, yeah, so I was watching a lot of other people's podcasts, right? It's just a recorded conversation, and I was seeing that the common theme amongst all these podcasts is just the fact that they have so many. Dog, you yep, know? And it's yep, like, yep. you can't really make two, three hours entertaining. Like, it's really hard to keep entertaining for three hours for real bro. and it's just like you have little snippets in there where it's like oh i'm really interested in this one right now mm-hmm. and that's where you clip it right that's where uh-huh. you see a lot of the clips are like these really interesting part of the whole three hour conversation right so sometimes i'll see this clip and i'm like oh damn i gotta go watch that podcast because yeah. i want to know what led up to that yeah part, yep. you know so you know and that's just me i'm not speaking for everybody but no, that's how they do it, though. I, mm-hmm. I, I, bro, I was thinking, that's funny, because I was literally thinking that today. I was walking, I was like, hmm, there's really no starting point. No. Because, like, let's say you got a guest, come on, you got somebody that you want to uh, you want to uh, bring over to your place or whatever. Y'all talking anyway, because, yeah. like, you start a conversation, then it's like, when, do, how do you pause on something that's natural Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To then try to make it natural. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. And if you watch like a lot of those beginning points of most of the podcasts that I've seen, like not just Joe Rogan, there's other podcasts like Trend of Fire, which is I like podcast his, uh, I've seen. I like his setup though, yeah. but there's other podcasts that I've seen where it's like you know we're just talking. And I've even seen like there's one podcast that I like called Trend of Fire, and. Um, he pod, he usually interviews like uh, like CIA people, ex like FBI guys, big uh, politicians. Like he's got really interesting people on there, you know. And how he'll start it is it's just him into the camera going, "Hey, look, this is who we're talking to today. We're just doing this." And then it literally the the start of the podcast is like just them talking about oh. something. Have you, you seen know, how the, you doing today? You know, and they're just like talking. Have it's, you seen what's his name? Uh, was it Theo? Theo Vaughn? Ah, oh, it's so funny. I didn't. First it's of all, I didn't so know funny. he. First of all, I didn't even know. Like I saw him, and I didn't know he was a comedian. Yeah. And then I, I, I didn't know that he was from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. I think he's from mm-hmm. Louisiana. Yeah. He's yeah. from Louisiana, but bro, he is funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's but, a different kind of comedy, though. Dude, they, he dude, does. he, dude, they was what they was talking about him. I was watching one of his podcasts, and they was the same thing. He's like, oh man, I, I forgot to uh, introduce you, man. Oh, uh, I'm kind of rude. I don't introduce yeah. you. Okay, then go back to the conversation, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, but like, yeah, I was watching some of his stuff, 
I watched some of his stuff, and I was like, wait, this dude, like, he, he's a, he, he has a, what's it call it? He can blend, he, uh, Cajun and country as hell can blend in with everybody, yeah, though. Yeah, that's very it's true. It's weird, and they, yeah. they commend him on how he, especially with black people. Yeah. They're like, dude, and he, you can tell he, like, he is from the South, right? But you can tell he didn't, like, grow up. Just around white people, like that type of. Stuff. His crowd be mostly black. That's what said, bro. Yeah, like, bro. He he is like Billy Bob. Like yeah, yeah, Billy Bob. Country, yeah, though, yeah. it's weird. Yeah, he is, man. But he's like, like you said, he can mold to so many different. Yeah, he can mold friendly folk exactly. Yep. He can mold to so many different crowds, man. But his comedy is just different. Like if you watch his stand up, bro, yep. he's just a different type of comedian. Mm-hmm. Like he's very, he moves across the stage very much, and then he'll just like sit there. And start telling a joke, you know, and then like the jokes he makes, it's like it's funny because he said it. You know what uh, I mean? Like a lot yeah. of a lot of the jokes that he makes, it's because I know Theo Vaughn is really funny, and it's because because Theo Vaughn said that it's funny. Yeah, right. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like there's these things um, that I was <coughs> looking at called uh, Theoisms. With these what other it called? With theoisms. Theoisms. So oh, it's, oh, it's Theo like, Vaughn. Yeah, so it's like saying stuff like him. So it'd be like you know. Uh, I knew this guy, right? This uh, this my cousin. He just uh, he just married his uh, his his other cousin, and he's an only child, right? He doesn't even have a cousin, and it's like, huh? But that's the point of his comedy. Is it's like it's all so confusing, and it's like, yeah. what? Oh, that's really funny, you know? But it's if you if you know people who are from the south, a lot of people in the south are like that. Yes. Like a lot of people in the south are just wait, what? Oh damn, that was really funny, you know. Because you, first, you don't understand what the hell they just said to you, mm-hmm. and then second, to them it's funny. Bro, goes it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I would look. It took, it's taken. It's mm-hmm. taken. I, let me see. She's been going. I say two years strong of naturally being able to keep up. About eight years of training. Eight years of training of uh, like like my sense of humor, or like mm-hmm. the stupid shit that I do, and like yeah. that. It's pointless. That's the point. Like the shit that I'm supposed to do is not supposed to make sense. Like, yeah, it's weird. and that's what's funny. Yep. Yes. Like my sister's yeah. like that. Like bro, even like when just being Louisiana, it's funny. First of all, it's funny that you describe it in that way because I talk about uh, Louisiana and like our culture being, you know, living in Florida. How I like, bro. I don't know why we do this thing. It's like it's the is these certain little attributes, and that's what it is. It's like it's pointless. It's just stupid. It's like. If they're stupid, mm-hmm. we can go stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a stupid <laughs> beyond stupider. Stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh, oh, that's cute. Like yeah. uh, <laughs> that was the, that was a good yeah, try. That was cute. Yeah, yeah. let really me show you stupid. stupid. You can't all stupid. Nah, but like that's the like to you, like the, the, it's 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 too too. Oh my bad. The uh, Theo Theo Vaughn. Like that's how it's funny. It's funny that you describe it that way because it is true, bro. Yeah, and it's just like the. I don't know, man, because you look at other southern type comedians, right? A lot of their comedy is that way. Yep. You know, it's like, huh? Oh, that's really funny. Yep. And but I'm again, the cable guy. Uh, yeah, Larry the, yep, ca- yep. the cable guy, Ron White's another well, comedian yep, like yep. that, you know. And um, and again, there's just a lot of uh, like a lot of that southern comedy is that way. You you, know? you, you uh you ever see the live stand up for uh, any like real? Time? I have, I have, but it wasn't any good. There's a lot of like you know people playing the guitar trying to make comedy with. Them. Oh, and it's like oh, you yeah. can make that funny, but it's like it's really hard. Guitar comedy is yeah. really hard. You never, well, you never seen. Uh, well, have you ever seen anybody like we, uh, like uh, like uh, fame? I was famous, or whatever. Uh, so nobody famous, nobody like. I, I we um. That's hilarious. Did you see Larry the Cable Guy? Yeah. That that must have been fun. How was that? Oh, that was so good. Yeah. 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 Huh? Like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. You know the the only stand up show I've ever been to was like an open mic kind of stand up show. Oh no shit. You know, and then they had like the features at the end and stuff like that. But um, but ultimately it was like you know it wasn't anything um, like Chris Chris Rock or something. Yeah. I'd, love to, I'd love to just go see like a Dave Chappelle or something like that. We I got to see wow. In person. He's so funny. I've seen we seen um you know who R and J is? Mm. Bro. R N R N S J? Arnez. Arnez. He's a, uh, he's a, 
I'm like, what? Is J. I'm like, what? Do you don't need R-N-S-J? Oh, what? Oh, you need R-N-S-J? Sorry. My wife just came out on that one. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, in DL Hughley's and or Steve Harvey's place in the Kings of Comedy. Ooh, facts. Wow, facts. That's a big statement. Facts. Wow. Facts. I have to look up this person pretty much immediately. Oh my god, yeah. bro. Oh my god. He, he has a special on Hulu. No, he has a special on Netflix, and he has. A, oh, and you can find. Oh, you can find all his old stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Oh my god. But I got to see it, bro. I, that's crazy because I've I probably seen. It. Oh my yeah, god! You probably seen yeah, him. Yeah, I probably seen him. Don't know. Who and they know who he was. Yeah, bro. Dog, I see. That's he's one. He's one of my. Because he's saying like as famous as he is, and I'm sure I've seen him. Before. He's one of my favorites, yeah, bro. Oh my cool. god! And I got. Mm. I've seen. Well, we saw Adam Sandler. You saw Adam Sandler. We saw Adam Sandler. How was that? It, it was good. Yeah. Like his comedy is different. It, it was very like. It was like, because, you know, we, we, we grew up on Adam Sandler, so it's like watching mm-hmm. your childhood, like, person that you watch TV on, like, uh, perform, but at the end it was pretty really emotional, because you're like, damn, bro, like, that's Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah, he was like, thank you for doing this journey with me, or something yeah. like that. Billy Madison, Billy Madison is my shit. Yeah, I, I can do an Sandler. Adam Sandler mar- marathon. Oh yeah, for sure. Dude. Give me Eddie Murphy and uh and Adam Sandler. Like I support Ooh. their goofy ass, stupid ass yeah. movies any day. <laughs> Have you seen Eddie Murphy's newest You People? With, oh yeah, yeah, I saw that, that shit, bro. Movie. It was good. <laughs> it, bro, look. What okay. do you think about that movie? All right. Bias. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So because I mean Eddie Murphy was in it, yeah. it got too much shit. I'm literally like, okay, I didn't, mm-hmm. I didn't know there was any issues with it until people brought issues with it. I was like, okay, I watched the movie for what it was. I was like, understandable. I like the message. Boom. What fucked it up for me was everybody dissecting and finding issues with it. I'm like, come oh, on, yeah. can we just have a good just movie? Stop, man. Yeah, just and look, bro, I like to find shit like the next person, but I was mm-hmm. like. Okay, everybody woke now. This is kind of one of them woke movies. Mm, that's uh, very true. Let me just watch the movie for what it was. Well, so, and I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry to interrupt no, you. No, no. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you. I got about 20, 30 minutes into it, and I was like, oh, okay, I see what this is. And I just turned it off. I was like, Bro, oh, okay. Facts, I was right? like, oh, okay, I see what... It's funny. that It's got points yeah. where I'm like laughing, but ultimately, I see what's going on here, and I'm like, I'm not going to subject myself to, nope. to, to, to this. Yeah, I'm like, yep. okay, I get it. I get it. I understand it. But, you know, ultimately, it's like, do we need more of that? There's so much of that wokeness That's what I'm on. saying, it's like, bro. I'm like, that. I get and, it. And it's like, it's Eddie Murphy, too. So it's like, dude, Eddie Murphy, the jokes that... You ever seen Raw? Like, his stand-up, where he's talking about, like, he gets deep into you, some you, shit. You, and he's making movies like that. You're like, come on, man. You talking, bro. <laughs> yeah. You talking Eddie Murphy. You know, yeah, right. Eddie Murphy. There's not, no, there's not an Eddie Murphy movie that I've not, not seen, bro. Oh, yeah. And I love every single one of them. Yeah. Every yeah, single one of them. It's crappy shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Arnett J and then Eddie Murphy? Mm. Or, no. Uh, oh, what's top two? My top two comedians. Just overall. <laughs> Ooh. Top two? That's hard. I'd have to go more than that. I'd, go top, I'd have to go top five if I was going to say what, say what like that. RNJ is my first. Bernie Mac. Ooh, Bernie Mac. That's a good one. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bernie Mac. Nephew Tommy. Nephew, okay. Nephew Tommy. Oh. Um, Yeah, oh my god, his stand up is funny because he's more because he, he already animated on the phone. Yeah. He animated. And he's like, impersonation. Yes. Oh god. Uh Aerie Spears. Ooh, that's a good choice. He's yeah. Aerie Spears. And Godfrey. Really? Yeah. Gilbert Godfrey? No, Godfrey. Oh Godfrey. Gilbert oh I'm like, Godfrey. really? That's an interesting choice. Okay. Yep, Godfrey. Godfrey, okay. Those are my top five. Ooh. Like off head. Those are the ones I search for the most. Mm. You know, I'm looking for comedy. But like, yeah, if I'm looking for comedy, I'll I'll search their stuff. Mm. Yeah. Like for stand up or yeah. movies? I, yeah, uh, there's a difference too. Yeah, there's because like if we're talking about movies, those are different 
different comedic. That's a different comedic role. Stand you up. You mean stand up? Yeah, okay. stand up for sure. Yeah. Ooh, man. Artists. And dude, like, you know Marlon Wayans is coming on to the Hard Rock Theater on the 4th? You know that I'm going to see it? No shit. Yeah, I'm going to see it. We are literally trying to, like, decide because Godfrey dude, so, is coming. Yeah, so me and Nyla, I got it from Nyla because she's like, she needs to laugh. And it was we're doing some research, and I guess it's laughing is good. What she can't hear it is. Oh, listen, it's okay. Joe, uh, shoot my ass. No, this is one of the best hours they have ever birthday Valentine's Yeah, man, like, he'll, he'll show. Up. She already knows. She knows. A good ass friends. laugh. Yeah. Listen, and I'm like, we both need that right now. So I think that, that and I was watching some of his stand up. He's pretty funny. Marlon Wayne is funny. Hard, yeah, he's pretty funny. You you missed it yeah. out. Like, what, have you seen any of his movies? Oh, dude, have you? Yes. All right, bet. Oh, I bet. Dude, all right, bet. So. My, and it's funny, this is like, I feel like one of his underrated movies, and it's because he made those, the scary movie movies, yeah, right? Yeah. Is House, how, uh, Scary House or something like that, or, oh, you know what I'm scary, talking about? The Haunted yeah, House? Scary movie. No, when he no, did The Haunted like, House. The Haunted House. Yeah. That shit the, was so funny. The other one, with, uh, I mean, the one with The Haunted House, he did two of them. <laughs> with the white girl, he had, he had, uh, he had, he said he had sex with a dog. <laughs> yeah. No, no, the, the dog died. Remember, they were like, pumping yeah, it out. Bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dog. My favorite scene from that movie, and I still use this line, is whenever he's got like he's he's got his cousins or whatever coming over, and they're like these gangsters, and they're like recording it, looking for paranormal activity or whatever. <laughs> and his cousin, right, he comes in, he's got a couple of his buddies, and they're like, whoa, whoa did you hear that? Yeah. There's like, there's something here. <laughs> and the and the cousin goes, man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and as soon as he says fuck, this couch like just lands right on him, right? Okay. And they record it, and, which, ah, and they all run out. But just the timing of him going, I don't give a fuck, and then this couch <laughs> just every single time it makes me die laughing. But it's just one of those movies for me that I can always watch it. More you know what I mean? That's a funny movie. Yeah. Hey, I think what's like top five funny movies for you? Who was the cousin in the, what's that, uh, the, uh, Red Man? Red Man? Oh, was that about Hot Hot? No, the, the, uh, oh, yes, <laughs> that is it. Um, no, the Haunted House movie. That, was it Red Man? Could be making it up. That's okay. All, all right. right, all right, listen, I got another question for you guys. Russ? Ready? We're going to go around the table here. Top five funny movies of all time, in your opinion. Anybody want to go first? Oh, uh, you said funny movies. Funny movies. Well, see, bro. Here you go. Yeah. Get there. Here see, go. a lot of people don't know a lot of the movies. That's what I'm saying. So you that's got, why I love it, though. Why? Because it, it opens you up to. Because uh, why I ask that question is because you learn so much about the person, right? The type of comedy that they watch. You know, because I've I've asked this to different types of people, and you'll get like. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say it. I asked, I, I went and I asked like Asian people, black people, Hispanic people, what, what's your top five like favorite funny movies, comedians of all time? And a lot of them, if you ask, it's gonna be black comedians, me and probably white comedians, right? Right? You know, and or uh, Hispanic, so a lot of times it's like Hispanic comedians. And they're not saying that's for everybody. But a lot of the comedy that they watch is that. And I think the the and I'm gonna bring this to the internet, right? Ready to I'm about to make a huge leap. Is I think what the internet has done is broadened a lot of people's horizons and now that like I can I know who Bernie Mac is. You know what I mean? Oh, bro. You but know. I, but uh, yeah. But if I asked probably a, a, a friend that I know of mine, he would have no idea who Bernie Mac is. But that's just because the environment that he grew up in, yep. that was just not the, something that he would have watched. You know what I'm that's saying? Like, oh my God, dude. I love doing this with Brooke. Like, that's one thing really about deep. being in an uh, interracial yep. relationship. Because you get to share. I love it. it. That's treasure, right. I love bro. it. I love it. it. I was like, I you got to see this. Like, bro. Cause see, like funny movies, like cause then that's like so that's like I almost think I can't do top five because there's so right, many like it's hard. Yeah, it's hard there's some. Oh, uh, you know, uh, didn't do, do, do this. 
top five. Uh, re- y'all prefer recommended movies, right? Ooh, stop it. So then you have your re- recommended funny movies to the point that you were just saying. Yeah, that yeah. That's maybe I've never seen that. And like off the wall funny, like, you know, like all mm-hmm. you know, all the shit that like, oh no, I know, I know, you probably haven't seen this, or if you have seen this, we already in the club now. Yeah. You like mine's crossover, and that's probably not supposed to be funny. They make funny. What? Ooh, that's I like that. Oh, yeah. Dirty Shame. Is that action? Oh, that, that. That's both. That, that's both. That's that's all of it. That's, that's all of it. That's, 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 that's the all way, above it. It's everything. If it's a Wayne's Rolling production, it. oh, that's so true. That's what? very true. That's very true. They can't do a serious yeah. movie oh, without that, no without that shit. Being funny. And he's the leader. No, have you seen the one that in my, I think it was Marlon Wayans was in in like the nineties with um, Jay Leto or whatever the guy that played Joker in just in the newest Joker um, that nobody liked. Uh, yeah, that one. Okay. And um, damn, what was that? I can't. Of course, I can't remember the name of the movie. Um, a Requiem of a Dream. Requiem, Requiem of a Dream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have yeah. you seen that movie? No, I've, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> so, the title. Of yeah, movie. so the movie basically okay, now, here we go. Here we do this. Um, is, a, is basically about, it follows these three people, right? I believe it's Marlon Wayans, Jay Leto, and Jay Leto's mom in the, in the movie. And then I believe it's also Jay Leto's girlfriend, right? So they're all like really addicted to drugs. Like heroin, the the mom's addicted to um, diet pills because she keeps trying to get on this uh, game show. The whole movie, she's like, "I'm gonna make it," but she's got to lose these last five pounds. And she's like taking these, which were opioids back in, in the in the nineties, right? And so she got addicted to this. And so, and I yeah, J Lo got addicted to heroin, and, and, and yeah. No, not in real life. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. But no, Marlon Wayans as well was another one. I believe he was on heroin. And so ultimately, at the end of the movie, right? Marlon Wayans ends up. They have to cut his arm off, or not Marlon Wayans. Jay Leto ends up. They got to cut his arm off because he shared a needle, right? And it got infected. Um, the Jay Leto's girlfriend. She ends up. She's like in some crazy sex show, right? Where they throw money at her basically to. Like have double sided dildos and crazy stuff. What movie is this? It's called it's called Requiem of a Dream. It is so fucked up, oh, but it, I believe everybody need, needs to watch this movie. If you're ever gonna even smoke weed, what? you need to watch this movie because it's it shows like what can happen it, whenever you don't respect the drug that you're taking, and also you take some hard ass shit like heroin. Is it meant to be a comedy? It's not at all a comedy. <laughs> not even close to being a comedy. But it has more little wings in it. So back to our point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's it's not even close to being a comedy. But Marlon Wayne's character in it is is funny. You know what I mean? Like he has moments where he's funny. So to your point again, they can't make a serious movie to save their life, even when it's supposed to be. It's serious. He's the character he plays is still funny. Yo. You know? What is Requiem he? of a Dream? I'll remember. It's a great movie. Yeah. Seriously, you have to watch it. He did try to it one serious movie. He did. Oh, no, 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 no. It was another, he did another serious movie. He did another serious movie. Oh. Was he a crackhead? That might have been that one. Might have been. I don't know, bro. All right. I mean, he's super skinny. But yeah, like, yeah even though, yeah, he's like, bro, yeah, you. We see you're trying to be serious, small, and I respect it. I'm watching anything. Well, because be I, no, we I believe comedians are some of the best drama actors. Like, have you ever seen Jim Carrey's like serious roles? So good. You know? Robin Williams playing a serious role is really good. <laughs> but they are just some of the funniest people. You know, whenever whenever you watch them, them do funny stuff. So. <laughs> Again, to the Wayne's brothers, you know, there's some of the whenever they were on live, in Living Color, man, some of the sketches on there were so funny, you know. But they can still, I believe, act their act act their ass off when it comes to drugs. oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you think about it, man, like if we're thinking from a philosophical sense, right, yep. comedy comes from a place of sadness. That's where it starts. Tears of a clown. Yes, exactly. Tears of the jester. That's so true. Ooh, too. And and. Uh, so it, it, it stems from that, right? Which I think would explain why they could be so good at this drama. But it, it's not a bad actor. 
No. You're acting this, you just feel acting this funny. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It might exactly. Right. It's, funny. It, it's, just, it's funny, man, because like if you watch like a comedian or just someone that you know is funny, yeah. like they're always very like act out people, you know. And uh, you want some water? I'm good. Yeah. And and no, so um, a lot of times like they're very acted out. Just their manner mannerisms are funny. You know what I mean? And so like if you watch like uh, certain comedians like um, uh, Patrice O'Neill, but he's really funny because mm-hmm. he's like he's huge, right? But he's a very <coughs> like active comedian. Yep, yep. You know? Oh yeah, he like dude, but as big as he was, he was he was uh, animated. Yeah, very animated. Very animated yep. So I didn't watch any of his stuff till later. Yeah. yeah. Really? So, so did you ever watch any of his earlier stuff? No, it, not till later. I didn't yeah, even realize he was really... in the office, bro. I was like, yeah, dude, he's funny. Uh, dude, you know how I found out about him when I was <coughs> when you uh, when you watch all those uh, what they call them, conspiracy videos, like Patrice O'Neill been said this, Patrice O'Neill yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what Patrice O'Neill said? And I'm like, oh, this dude funny as hell, but he just spoke a lot of real shit. And yeah, that's what it was. But yeah, go ahead, bro. No, yeah. So it's just that's that's true, man. And, I think, man, a lot of uh, enemies, just a lot of comedy comes from that place, mm-hmm. uh, from sadness, you know, so I think that... Oh, bro, you gotta, you gotta laugh at, bro, shit. That's so true. You gotta laugh at yourself, laugh at the situation. It's the only oh. way you can get through it. Dog, we laugh, yeah. like, we, me and my sister asked, uh, uh, man, is something wrong with us? I was like, I don't think so. I said, shit, why is shit funny? My uncle had passed, like, oh. It was funny. Mm. Like, yeah, I was like, no, nah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. like, this is how we handled it. It's like, just, it's, it's funny, bro. Yeah. No, when I moved out here, her family, she, they had to keep apologizing. I was like, now, I was like, oh, wow, y'all handle these things very interesting. It's, <laughs> y'all are also fucked up, just different. I love it. It's a, uh, oh, look like, oh my what? God. Like, what? They are intense. Like, I mean, not intense, but they're just like, Jokes and yeah, oh, oh my yeah. god, bro. Her dad, I, I, I love this story. Her dad and her brother, like, this is my dad. This, I moved out here, like, I was like, man, I was all oh, a whole bunch of stuff. My dad, uh, it was Thanksgiving, and Brooke's dad, um, finished eating his food. Sure. Her, <laughs> yes, no, I didn't tell him on this though. Her, uh, her brother cooked the turkey, mm-hmm. and so I'm sitting at the table, you know, we all talking and stuff, yeah. Her dad goes. Wait, he's at that point, dying. Yeah. This was last Thanksgiving. We kind of all knew it. Oh. <laughs> this is the first time that he met the family. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, yeah. In Ocala. So yeah, this is his. This yeah, this is his last Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, if you gonna put it like that. Yeah. Is this last Thanksgiving? Yeah. This was a moment. And uh, oh God. <laughs> so he goes. You know. Out of all the Thanksgiving that I no, out of all the turkeys and Thanksgivings that I've been to, this is the driest turkey <laughs> that I've ever had in my entire life. So her brother is he gets up. It was like, well, you know what? But then next time, and he had to stop himself. He said, you know what? <laughs> Damn! My mouth. Was, yeah. Oh my god. My mouth dropped. And that's yeah. Louisiana. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom dropped. I was like, wow. I was like, damn, that's one way to go, man. To have your last dry ass, last thing you have a dry ass turkey. Oh, uh, that's so Way to go. Your only daughter married a black man. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> yup. Oh. Damn. Your oh. only daughter married a black man. Oh. Damn. You didn't like that? You didn't like that? Oh, no, he was funny. Oh. <laughs> what did he say? He said, something cool shit. He said, like, oh, you know, like, um, as black, not being his first choice, he loved the bar. Yeah, yeah. Black, not being his first choice. He's like, eh, not my first choice, but I can see it makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn, respect. Oh, yeah, I okay, yeah. I get what I can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anybody would say that, right? Like, anybody would say that. That's it. Yeah. You know, no matter That's so funny. Funny. <laughs> Anybody would say that. What do you mean, anybody would say that? Like, you know, like, you know, <laughs> the, the, the your daughter. <laughs> He's like, oh, I mean, it could be even the same race. No, oh, he wasn't my first choice, but I'm yeah. gonna see. Yeah, he was Italian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was Italian. He had a Sismano, uh Italian food factory. His last name is not Sismano. <laughs> okay, I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. 
He was um, in the garbage disposal business. Oh, yeah. Quote, unquote. He, he was the Robert De Niro. <laughs> the, the Robert De Niro. Oh, so my uncle had a warehouse full of freezers yeah. and stoves. That's it. It's just suspicious. Just like, freezers even when I was and like, stoves. Yeah. Don't you got something? Just freezers. Shit. Thank you. That's what that's burning snow. And, and bro, the spring, they just fixed the sprinkler oh, system. No. Yeah, like, it all, we thought our hot, we thought our apartment was about to flood. Really? What happened? Well, they was testing out the sprinkler system, and our apartment was the one they got uh, tested on, but they didn't know it. And uh, Yo, the, the all water, your like. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, all that stuff is straight, man. Um, the only thing, the only thing that uh that they found there was a squirrel. But I'm just playing. What? <laughs> Yo, what? Nothing. Yo, what? I was like, that was some bullshit. <laughs> but it, wasn't, it wasn't let me do Yo, it. Yo, you know what they found though? Actually, in our vents, right? Let me tell you, they found a midget, right? Oh, well, right where? Yeah, a midget in our vents. Yeah, let me tell you. So that we, yeah. So we actually, what we did, that we had a lot of uh, termites. But yeah, right. mid- so, mid- so we had. Let me let me let me backtrack for a second, yeah, right? So uh, 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 there was a house down the street, and it was infested with termites, right? And they actually had to fumigate it, right? So you know they fumigated it for three days and you know three nights, and they open it up, and the first thing that comes running out, because sometimes what does is well nothing, because everything's dead. You know, you know if you leave your dog in there, it's over. You leave your cat, it's done. There's definitely no squirrels left over. But what comes running out is a little midget naked, just running out underneath this. Little person. Just some. No, no. It was a midget. All little right. Person. There's a difference between a little person and a midget. All right. I can, I all argue that one. Wait, why don't we have that? Wait. Did you say midgets are just as bad? That's no, racist. I didn't. Yeah. How do you? Just as bad. I'm a little person. No, man. They're midgets. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Anyways, so there was this little person who, aka, is actually called Mark the Midget. All right, I'm just that's what they call him, Brooke. All right, that's what they said on the newscast. His name's Mark the Midget. Doesn't matter, that's beyond the point. Anyways, uh, he comes running out, and you know, they, they end up interviewing him, right? And, and you know, the the newscaster, he's like, What are you, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Because, because the Mark the Midget, right? He's sitting there. And he's pulling on his leg, right? He's pulling on his leg like this. A lot like I'm doing to you right now. What? Because it didn't happen, man. The fuck? <laughs> man, what the, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how did we get on midget, bro? Oh, man. How did we get on midget? Listen, if you don't know the end of the joke, just always finish with that. Oh, oh shit. All right. <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's a joke hack. Yeah. That, you drop the like I'm pulling your leg, like I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. Bro, but yeah. That was funny, what were you saying? Oh, bro. No, it's like, and so, like, I've been around a lot of, like, comedy as of late anyway, so it's funny, like, I don't know how the fuck got on comedy. You were something. Yeah, man. Like, uh, just in general, though. Yeah. Man. That's my shit, though. Like, I, I, I go to sleep to comedy. Do you really? like, yes, yeah. bro. I don't watch nothing but comedy right now. It's good. I like I, I, right now, I'm watching like uh, so. I've been trying to watch like these few shows, like you know, the shows like Snowfall and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I don't get watched like one episode at a time. Or, yeah, I, mean, I ain't trying to get a ball yeah. with this bullshit. Yeah. I ain't too eager to figure out. This shit is toxic. Yeah. Is a this is toxic. So I'm like, bro. I just watch some funny shit. Or you know what? You know what? Okay, I will say this. This is a. This is a guilty pleasure. Uh, I like watching like futuristic and dystopian, uh, dystopian films and shit. Wait, like, um, like what? Like Matrix, Lucy, okay. or like Blade Runner. Did you ever see Elysium? Like... Elysium? No, but I still gotta see that one. You need I to see, see that. that. If you like those types of movies, you yes, should see that movie. I gotta see. I, I heard. I heard about that. Movie. And if I could see that shit happen, dude. I like that. And then yeah. like, and I watch. Uh, but then I watch like some of the anime that I like is too action packed, not too action packed. So like I watch a lot of my stuff at night, so it depends on. Uh, oh, like, so you can only go to sleep too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man. But for the most part, man, I watch. Oh my god, I watch a lot of comedy. Mm. So you said you watch anime? What sure. anime do you watch? So right now, right now I'm, re- I'm, re- I'm rewatching. Uh, okay, this is kind of like I don't know, I'm watching Baki and Death Note. 
Oh, we about to do the Yes, and I got uh, My Hero Academia. <laughs> I'm watching that. I'm like so far behind with that one. Oh. Yeah, but a lot of those, they have like thousands of episodes. Uh-huh. Right? So it's like, if you want to pick up, you know, from the beginning, that's a task. I do have to like sit down, like just chill out. Like it's a vibe. Because, okay, so when I watch anime, this is how I grew up watching anime. Yeah. Like, it's a thing. Have our ramen. Like, <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm like a go- like a goofball when it comes to this. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. I, it has to be a thing. Like, it's a, it's a vibe. Yeah. But, I'm watching my anime on the ground, like a Japanese, you know, like I'm in Japan. Do you sit a certain way? Uh, I'm on the floor. Yeah, on the you floor, just sit, like, you know? crisscross or anything? Yeah, like it has to be a Japanese, it's like, I have to have the food. Like, yeah. dude, that's how I always did it. Like, I've <laughs> never, like, or have some rice, make some, it's just a thing, bro. It's a, yeah. it's an experience. I love mm. anime, but I like being, uh, like, you watch your, you know, we watch our shows, that sounds like it's more of an experience than just watching the show. Yes, yeah. bro. You that's why I'm like, oh man, I, I, I can see him vibe out and watch some anime. But I'm like, man, I wanna like watch some anime. I see. It. Like sit down and actually watch it. Like you can't have it in the background type shit. Yeah, man. Because that's how I watch a lot of stuff. Is I'll just like it's me watching it in the background. You know? And I can still like kind of pay attention to what's going on. Yeah. But it's also just really hard for me to sit there and try to pay attention to the movie for the whole time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just don't have the attention span to sit there for two hours and try to sit there and watch the movie. Because then usually some, the, the movie will spark a thought about something and then I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people are like, shut up. I, I've been watching the, um, I've been trying to find a lot of like old uh, old anime. The, uh, the old art. I like the old, like there was the, the old art style was a little bit more round. And grainy, and I love that look. Uh, mm. You know, you know, of course, without te- technology today and how oh, like I anime is sharp, like it's like sharp, it's yeah. crisp, it's mean, colorful, it's beautiful. Yeah. Their artwork is beautiful, but I like the the the, the distortion, distorted look in yeah. the old, the and, old school. Yes, yeah. yes. So that's more like when you read the mangas, right? That's what they're called when you read yep. them. Um, you the artwork in that and a lot of the at least the older ones that I've read like Death Note and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the artwork in that is that like grainier, uh, older or what was that one they made with the Watchmen? Did you ever read that? Oh no, I never. I never the watched novel. that. The novel. Did you ever read the the graphic Gra- novel? No, no, no. Did I, you ever watch the movie? Oh yeah, yeah that. Okay. Well, it took me like. It's like four hours to finish. It took me ten years to finish that full what? movie. What? Yeah. Why? Because it's four hours long. Well, what do you mean ten years? Because I would fall asleep. Really? Like, yeah. That's little, hilarious. Because I, because bro, by the time you watch it, it's nighttime. Mm. It's tomorrow. <laughs> You've already went to sleep and woke yeah. up at that point. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> it's tomorrow. <laughs> Just saying, man. Yeah, but no, it's, 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 I like it because I'm like, oh shit, this is like kind of like I didn't realize like how old it was. It's kind of like pre, it's like like ancestry. It, it just kind of remind me of like the ancestors of what the Watchmen. Yeah, of the DC. Well, characters. isn't that kind of that's kind of the the premise I thought. Yeah, I think so. But I, I, like, was like these were the original mm-hmm. like, like Owl Man was like Batman. Yeah. Like yeah, like that. Was like really well, that's Batman. the thing, right? Because they were like what during World War Two, yep. right? And then. The whole movie is like years after yep. after the Manhattan Project, yep. which was wasn't the nuclear bombs; it was them actually creating Doctor Manhattan, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or there was like a freak accident that created Doctor Manhattan. Yep. Right? that's what it was. So it's like a real, but that's a really interesting movie, though. If you think about just the oh no, yeah, bro, the it's, concept behind the movie, it is really interesting. It comes from real life. Yeah, it I does. have to watch it again. I like I've been watching movies like that, or like some of these. Uh, Comic movies and stuff like kind of the cipher. See, see, like a decipher and stuff. Yeah, it is based on real shit. All this yeah. is based on like, yeah. it, which is cool though. It's like okay, bet. That's you know, true. It, it, well, so actually, the going back to the Watchmen. Have you ever heard of the Avengers? Like the original story of the Avengers. No. Uh-uh. So the Avengers were actually right. Were a group of um, Jewish people after World War II who had gotten out of the Holocaust, and what they did was they went around and they searched for the Nazis that made it out of the Holocaust and basically fled to Argentina and, you know, a lot of other countries. Um, the U.S., um, which is uh, 
project something. But anyways, um, so the Avengers were these this group of Jewish people that would go around and find, for example, let's say a Nazi sh- soldier that fled to Argentina and kill him. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so they were the Avengers. Oh, that's pretty right? dope. Yeah, so that's like the origin of the... Oh, yeah. never mind. Oh, so, okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So even when you think about the Watchmen, it's like they're right after World War II. Yep. You know? And, and that would make sense if, if any research was done into anything like that. It would make sense that it was happening during that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or like right after that. Mm-hmm. You know, and so you're telling me that they don't have like you're telling me that the the Navy SEALs, right, at the top level, you know what I mean? They don't have some type of studies that they're working on with these guys, you know what I mean, to make them more durable or whatever or strong. You know? It just is what it we're, is. We're already here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like we're it is already, what it is. We're already here. That's why it's in the movies, it's just so they can get you used to the technology. Yep, we're you already know? here, bro. Yeah. Oh my god! We're yeah. So we're already here. Like at this point, they literally are trying to. They, 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 we we talking in past, like or future tense. Like no, we are here. Oh yeah, I, I always use the example of like you know any technology that we have, like a phone, for example. What this technology was possible thirty years ago that we have, like as just the plebes that are sitting around, you know? this, this, <laughs> the common people, you know, that are sitting here. You know, the technology that we have access to is 30 years past. The, te- the technology that is really possible out there, that uh-huh. is really going on, you know, and that, you know, the, the, the government is using and that the, the military is using, or the, the people are like Jeff Bezos has access to, yep. Elon Musk has access to, you know. So ultimately, it makes sense if they're trying to make something like that, you know what I mean? If we're talking about in a society where all you do is focus on war, you know, it makes sense that you're you're trying to make your warriors stronger and better. You know, and it makes sense that I live at that point in that would happen. I live life right in the unbiased. Hell yeah, I love it. I'm like I'm not I'm putting nothing past nothing because mm-hmm. nobody knows everything well, and everybody knows nothing. So I want to subscribe to not knowing nothing every time, and then we're gonna see what it is. Ignorance is really bliss. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what? So I was like, I was okay, because then, because if because then if we're, choo- we're choosing to ignore something, mm-hmm. you're choosing to ignore the fact that this is happening to you. Yeah, I don't want to ignore it. I want to. I'm gonna subscribe to not knowing. But that's no nothing, and it's not ignorant. That's not ignorant. It's it's surrendering to the fact that you know nothing. Okay. You don't so know, even the knowledge that you do know, you it's don't like know there's shit. Still stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, I think you're putting down. Yeah. I agree with that. I, su- I subscribe to that. Oh one. man, shoot. I like that because I'm not dog. I, it's just. Oh, speaking of subscribing, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and like this uh, video. Anyways, continue. Oh, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a good plug-in. Yeah. That was a good plug-in. Yeah, that, that was really good. Yeah, anyways, I mean, if we have 18 viewers, I mean, come on now. Oh, man, I appreciate yeah. you guys. Yeah, for real. By yeah. the way, that was awesome. I was yes. not expecting that at all. Me either. Yeah. That was Definitely cool. appreciate yeah, you Yeah, that guys. was cool. And anyways. Everybody. Yeah, and everybody and anybody that ever watches this. Yep. <laughs> Or listen. Or listen. Because well, until we we'll ultimately our faces, listen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyways. Yeah, you guys want to see superheroes together. That's right. Uh oh. <laughs> anyways, superheroes. Oh, um, so, yeah. But how's your um? How's your how's your lady? She's doing good. She's doing actually really good. She's uh, she is getting more energy day by day. Yes. You know, so that's good. Um. Today wasn't a good day, but the last three days were. So like, what makes a bad day? She throws up a lot. Oh, for real? Yeah, she'll throw up a lot. Or, um, yeah, that, that's kind of what it is. It's oh. just hard for her to keep the food down. Yeah. You know? What she mean? She mean, like, craving certain things? She has that. She's starting to get those moments where she's like, I really want chocolate. And she's like, okay, let's go get chocolate. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, some those days she just doesn't want to eat anything because she knows it's coming back up. You know? And no, that sucks because it's like, 
she's at that point she's eating to help the baby survive, not even because she wants to, and she knows that the baby's the reason that she's throwing up. Like think about how it's such a like a war like it's kinda warped, you know what I mean? It's hard to Hey, question. Yeah, what's up? So your pops. Yeah. Where is he from? He is from Oklahoma. City. He is from Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 Oklahoma. And your mama and her people are like she's trace from, back. She's from New York, Brooklyn, New York. So and then her people trace back to Italy. Sicily. Sicily. Yeah. Right. And like you the only child. Yep. So you like the last white person in your family. I am. <laughs> I'm the last white person. After that, they're gonna be a bunch of Mexicans. All right, they're all gonna look Mexican. <laughs> okay. How y'all gonna, 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 gonna do the hair? Oh, you got oh, well, we've actually thought about that because I'm like, I hope that they get that like really, really curly but defined and looser. We you have twins. No, we you said. Well, I said yeah, I hope they. I know. I'm sorry. You said I hope. Well, because we ult- she wants to, and we ultimately want to yeah. have two. But oh, your hair, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you got, like, I remember you had an afro. I remember. I did. I remember. I did. Well, because my hair doesn't go down. Uh-uh. Like, it just keeps going up. Bro. So, just closer to Jesus, basically. Right? <laughs> yeah. Stupid, <laughs> bro. So, anyway, that's the Oklahoma City in me. Okay? Oh, wow. Bro. Yeah, that's why my hair doesn't go down. Damn. It's because my dad's from Oklahoma and it brings me closer to Jesus. Your mama's going to be like, your, your, mom, your mama's going to be like, uh-uh. Oh my God! Oh, look at all these little uh, curly hair babies, these little Miss Brown babies around here. I love it! I love it! I love it! All this curly hair. Your dad is like, oh my God! He's, yeah, look at that. That. He's, he's like, if my dad yeah, seen this, this. <laughs> he, he would have rolled over his grave. Son, I told you not oh, the best of the Sicilian. Yeah, listen. Yeah, we'll see Vinny coming up. They call Sicilian niggers too. Uh, in words too. They do. They call them guineas, actually. Yeah. And do you want to know why they call them guineas? Yeah. So it's because, bef- it, like, long, long back, Sicily um, was raped and pillaged by the Moors a lot, and oh. the people of New Guinea, which is in Africa, mm-hmm. which is actually don't let bef- the Moors say you yeah. say that. They got. I follow. I, mean, I know. <laughs> now listen. Don't let the Moors right. say you say that. Then. For real. Yeah. We don't want no trouble. <laughs> yeah, look, we I'm don't not, give a damn. Yeah, I'm just saying this is history. That's right? what they say. Yeah. They- <laughs> That's, That's what, what they, they said say. happened, all right? Yep. I'm just I'm just the messenger. Ain't nobody don't want to know about that bullshit. Exactly. So <laughs> anyways, before all of this, people from Sicily actually had blonde hair and blue eyes because they they were migrants from Germany mm-hmm. or the Germanic tribes, right? And because a lot of them came from what would have at that time been like the Byzantine Empire, the Roman Empire, the same geographical area, right? right. And this was Sicily was right after that, after the Byzantine Empire was overran by the you know the the um, barbarians and the Persians and all these people, and um, and the barbarians were ultimately Germanic, right? Mm-hmm. Leading to the people that were from Sicily at this point in time, which would have been a very long time ago, like fourteen hundreds, you know. Um, were blonde hair, blue eyed. Now, because these people were raped and pillaged by the Moors, oh, thank you very much. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Um, because these, I know that's really cool. Thank you. Get these from? She made them. I. Oh. Yeah, she made them. Thank you. Um, so, anyways, these these people from Sicily, right, were blonde hair, blue eyed, and because they were raped and pillaged by the Moors, um, and the people from New Guinea. They um, were. They ended up developing what you see today, brown hair and, and brown mm-hmm. eyes, right? And this is actually what also ended up leading to um, the creation of the Mafia, which was the Black Hand, which was the first Mafia which was created in Sicily. Right. It was because they would get raped and pillaged all the time, so they finally said, fuck that. And they created their own organized crime, right? So leading me back to the point of why I was saying all of this, the reason why it's offensive to call an Italian a guinea is because it's relating them to the people that raped and pillaged them. And that makes Italian people, ultimately, like, if you meet a real, like, old Italian dude, they are some of the most racist people you've ever met in your life. Mm-hmm. But it's like, when you take that into account and understand that these were the people that were raping and pillaging them for generations, what? it makes sense. You know, okay. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I understand, I understand why you mad. Mm. Exactly. Just like I understand why people are mad today. Uh-huh. It is what it is. You know? That's really good. This is really good, Brooke. Thank you. Mm. Continue. Mm. Continue. Go on. I wasn't saying nothing. No. Oh, shit. You don't have to kill it. Dude, right. that was pretty slick, though. Uh-huh. Let's bring that blade. 
All right. That's pretty much it for us. Yep. Thank you, thank you very much for anybody that listens ever. Um, right. Appreciate and, you. Yeah, we do appreciate you. And we do appreciate the 18 yeah. viewers from yeah. the first episode. Yep. Um, and then if they do continue, keep coming back. All right. Stay epic. All right. Stay epic. I like that. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>